Jean has brought us our ladybug, that lucky ladybug, but who is so drenched in glamour. You know, Jean works with some of the finest gemstones in the world, and that is what he's doing today. So today, he's also bringing us things that we get to enjoy with whimsy and a gorgeous, gorgeous story behind it. How do you feel? What is it about ladybugs that you love so much? Well, why don't, don't you love when a ladybug yes, just lands on, right? lands on your shoulder? I thought I was the only one, even, so I needed Even to if check. you don't believe in anything, there is something about ladybugs that maybe at that moment you need something to inspire you, to make you feel better, and a ladybug just brings that. It's pretty magical when I she agree. lands on you. So I like that theme in general. Oh this gosh. I wanted to be, this is my, the, the piece I'm most excited about, because I like this idea that the wings have opened, to a perfectly cut, brilliant pear-shaped stone. I mean, look at the the, assem the the ensemble of the piece. You can only imagine that you know those those wings are closing and then they're opening and they're Change opening light. to that perfect yes. perfect stone as the body of the ladybug. So it is a pin, if I'm not if I'm not uh, mistaken, as well as being a. Uh, a slide, a slide. A, it's also can it has your prong or your um, bail up on the top, right? And your bail here mm -hmm. going wide. Let me just see something there. That clips. This is like a, a collar clip. Is that going to move on me? Nope. No, I don't no, think no, it no. Moves. Okay. Okay. So it's and 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 look again. We have that. We have that perfect connection to the world of diamonds and fine jewelry here again. You see, that, see that's, that stone has a little bit of a vintage flair, really brilliant, coming through, again, that contrast with the red of the uh, lab-created rubies. Mm -hmm. And I like to talk about lab-created rubies because they are, in fact, rubies. They're not just an imitation of rubies. They are, in fact, rubies. The only difference is that they were created in a lab. What this gives us is the opportunity to create the red saturation that you would only find in the finest rubies, Burmese rubies, also called pigeon blood color. That's very intense, fiery red that makes the rubies to be the king of gemstones. And I like that overall, when you look at the quality, the brightness of the absolute, mm -hmm. the Just rich diamond, red finest diamond of stimulant. that lab created ruby, created all together, spinels. that piece has again sort of closed that gap between the world of fine jewelry mm -hmm in the world of simulated jewelry, but that piece to me, from a distance and from up close, has all the trademark of a genuine diamond piece of jewelry. And remember, Absolute, Jean would not put his name with anything that wasn't incredible. Absolute is of the, uh, of the legacy of what diamonds you know will never be which is truly affordable and this size for example and it's a world's finest diamond simulant that we have for you and those are the five flex payments yeah. but most importantly i want you to see that we have a ring coming up too guys so if you're interested in the ring as well that could be part of your ensemble and that has also the created black spinel that's on the bottom of the screen and how much is that little sweetie there, there, look at that. See how great look it looks. Look at that. This is such a great shot that we can also see the pendant. Yes. On your, on your blouse and see how it's coming through. Look and you have that. a beautiful little mic right next yeah, right. to it. Can you should order the a, mic with the pendant. It's prettier. Can I have a diamond encrusted mic, Jean? <laughs> would you make that for us here at HSN? It's much prettier. We would so I like appreciate it. it. Thank you very much. Uh, the the look here is that of couture. The look is of a one of a kind piece. Now, 200 available. So, when you think about who your your sensibility, Jean, you're one of the people that uh, people could buy anything in jewelry. They turn to you. And we love that you are sharing your talents with us well, it's here. Very important, it's very important to be here because I think that jewelry is a lux is luxury for here. These pieces are luxury for someone. Luxury is not just because you can afford right. very high amounts. It's uh, you know there's a lot of ladies right now ordering this 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 uh, brooch for which yes. for whom it is a luxury. So I like the idea that we've extended and sort of blurred the lines between the world of fine and high jewelry. Where these looks, I always wanted to bring these looks to a wider 
group I always of say we, people we so, set that, you free. Oh, so that you can enjoy yeah. the same level of attention, craftsmanship, imagination. Absolutely. So stay with us for that. We actually are thrilled to be able to share with you some of the original costumes from Disney's Alice Through the Looking Glass. Glass, they're here on our set. So this is one of Alice's actual costumes. And there's your lavender organza with that oriental top that Alice brought back from her, her travels based on 